Some time ago, one of the biggest stories in this country was the gangster Vikas Dube. The way his gang ambushed policemen and killed and shot so many of them. The way he was then arrested. The way he then died in an encounter after the police was transporting him from one state back to Uttar Pradesh. And why are we talking about it today? Because it has now emerged that upon the insistence and instruction of the Supreme Court, the UP government had set up a pro-committee, a pro-panel. And that committee looked into this encounter, looked into what happened, because there were obviously allegations of a fake encounter, staged encounter, just to get rid of Vikas Dube. They looked into that and they submitted their report to the Uttar Pradesh government in April. This report actually was tabled in the Uttar Pradesh State Assembly now, and which is where the details came out. Now, essentially, the panel report on the incident itself, the encounter, the accident, the encounter itself, largely mirrors what the police said. That the police vehicle skidded due to a herd of cows and buffaloes. The accident caused momentary unconsciousness for the policemen who were in the car. And in that much time, Vikas Dube, the gangster, snatched, the, one of, uh, snatched a gun from one of the cops and ran away. And then these policemen, after momentary losing subconsciousness, came back. And then they started to chase him. And then Dube turned and shot from the cop's pistol as these guys were chasing him. And as they shot back in self-defense, Vikas Dube collapsed and then died. So effectively, this report, committee's report that was submitted several months ago though, has given a clean check to the UP police of any malafide, any stage encounter, fake encounter kind of allegations. And they've mirrored what the UP police has said. But that's also happened because the report clearly says nobody else came up to give, give them counter evidence, counter statements that they put out announcements, notifications asking people to come up and submit to this commission, to this committee as to what really happened. But nobody did, not even the media. The media was actually blocked at the toll plaza. They weren't even there when this happened. But that's essentially what took place. Obviously, it has become a big controversy. But more importantly, and what I really want to talk about is a part of this report that does talk about collusion between the gangster Rikas Dupe, government officials and policemen. Something that we've repeatedly said even when the story broke. Something that has been repeatedly said every time Vikas Dupe made it to the headlines. That this gangster cannot survive, thrive, flourish the way he has without having these connections. And at no point have efforts really been made to penalize those people who side, who collude with a gangster. And even this report actually highlights that part and says there needs to be an investigation and action against those officials, those policemen who patronized Vikas Dube. So even if we are to believe that this was all just an accident that gave Vikas Dube a chance to escape police custody, and as the cops chased him, there was firing from both sides and Vikas Dube, the gangster, the gangster who was so close to the policemen, so close to politicians, whose own wife was involved in politics, he died. Even if we believe that, can the UP government and the BJP tell us what action has been taken on the basis of this report, on the allegations of collusion, on the allegations of the system patronizing a gangster. Dewey Singh, spokesperson for Samajwadi Party, joins us. Sharad Pradhan, senior journalist, and Anila Singh, spokesperson for the BJP. And this is the problem, Anila Singh. When political parties and governments and police, police departments begin to believe that if the person is dead in a real encounter or fake encounter, but shot dead and out of the system, then the problem is gone. Well, what about all of those people who helped him survive, thrive, flourish when he was alive? You are absolutely correct. 
and uh, when uh, um, any government system government official anywhere when they when their name comes uh, or when their name is associated with people like uh, vikas dubey definitely question arises and at that time also this question arised and a few of the people who uh, who were found that they were associated with vikas dubey they were suspended inquiry is on i'm pretty sure that they will be getting exemplary punishment and this report is also out and uh, according to this report also several actions will be taken so we cannot say that yogi adityanath ji did not take action against those officers or police persons or uh, revenue officials whose names were associated with vikas dubey You, so you are saying that the investigation is still on. The report was submitted in April. It's August, and nothing has been done. Actually, the incident <coughs> took place a while ago. Even then, when you and I debated, we very well knew that Vikas Dubey had great connections within the police department and the government offices. And still, nothing has been done. No, this action has been taken against those uh, people in Thana, and as well as um, uh, the person who was. posted as superintendent of police there so action has been taken it's not so that the action action has not been taken okay let me bring in sharad pradhan mr pradhan has action been taken yeah. firstly we are to believe that because nobody else stepped up this is what happened essentially that vikas dubey was in an accident tried to escape and hence in that firing he died but now even those who saved him covered up for him through the life uh, will not be questioned well you know the, this is a such a mockery in the name of uh, encounter and uh, it's only laughable that a commission headed by a uh, retired supreme court judge and uh, gives them a clean shit we this was a foregone conclusion the day this the commission was constituted because members of the of the commission were uh, very very controversial and questions had been raised about their uh impartiality from day 1 where the chairman the chairman of the commission justice um, uh, chauhan has his own brother is a bjp mlc his daughter is married to a bjp member of parliament from rajasthan this was these questions were raised by the way and uh, the uh, former dgp who was uh, hand picked for this job who is regarded as one of the most inefficient dgps up has seen was a dgp during the Uh, regime of mr kalyan singh and how he made it to that job was it was not was no secret everybody knew the kind of things he did to become dgp the third judge was a retired high court uh, judge who is not a retired high court judge he resigned because there were serious charges of corruption against him and he was transferred from up to another state as a result of which he resigned so this was the constitution of the you can imagine how the the government new and and all these were hand picked by the solicitor general of india tushar mehta who has been a great advocate for uttar pradesh government at all times so the, in this backdrop why i mentioned these because this will show you how this whole thing was manipulated and the report from day one we knew that this is going to be the conclusion and you know they were supposed to give the report in two months they have taken 13 months to give the report anyway that apart the, the point is if this report is to be believed that uh, the fellow was inside this vehicle this vehicle which you see upturned and uh, and the four cops who five cops who were escorting him all arm chaps can you imagine under the rules of the police if a service revolver or service pistol of a of a serving cop is snatched away by a criminal whom they are ca carrying they are supposed to be punished they have no business to be in the police no action has been taken against any one of them it is not only dear the uh, acute uh, strong dereliction of duty it is also complete failure as a as a policeman but no action has been taken against them can you imagine four five guys and this chap snatches the revolver runs away with a limp he has a limp and he has a pro problem with his uh, one of his legs and then they chase him and then suddenly then the, he fires first and these five guys don't uh, are not able to fire first so you know it is on the face of it it is worse than a third rate bollywood uh, uh, plot 
Well, you so, know, I, so I just want to, Mr. Pradhan, read out because you referred to this part about how is it that he could, you know, run away, shoot at them, uh, and, and uh, you know, they, they couldn't do anything. According to the commission's report, Dubey shot from the policeman's pistol even as the police <laughs> chased him, injuring two of the men in uniform. The report adds that the police <laughs> fired at the accused in self-defense, leading to Dubey collapsing. Uh, and in fact, adding that the injuries suffered by policemen could not have been self-inflicted or fabricated. That, that's what the commission <laughs> report says. That, that says it all. Because we know how, how such you know, injuries are created by the police. We know how police, UP police works. And to, if only a blind and a deaf person will believe this. Only I, I, and I need to be blind for, to believe all this uh, uh, story about this uh, so-called encounter. Okay. Anyway, yes. but that about why has action not been taken against those cops yes. who, were, who committed gross direction of duty and complete failure as cops? Secondly, why no action against all those policemen who were conniving with him for years together? Except one chap, no action has been taken. And it is not only just that. You know, he had killed a BJP minister earlier, in the, about uh, some uh, 20 years back, if I'm not mistaken. And while there was a BJP regime here, Rajnath Singh was the chief minister. And you know how he was given a clean shit? Because the serving cops, there were some two dozen cops present there who just turned hostile. They said they had not seen anyone. It was a broad daylight murder. Political, he was continued to get political patronage from everyone. Yeah. And particularly in the BJP. And no action, no action. So it is such a, such a huge uh, drama. And, uh, you know, it is just like uh, making a fool of the people. Political patronage, can that be... Denied you, he saying political patronage, uh, collusion with the cops, the blessings of the cops, or as long as it worked for the uh, then the entire system work, and one fine day when it stopped working, then he was gone. Uh, can we discuss this case and the brazenness of the BJP astonishes me. I mean, this uh, the B crew case has completely exposed the ugly face, the underbelly which we talk about. Mr. Devendra Mishra was killed. The Thana was involved. The people. Sitting in Lucknow, the highest of your authorities were monitoring this case, uh, were tampering with evidence. You allowed Mr. Vikas Dubey to escape. And uh, then there was a, a very dramatic arrest in MP. Uh, he, uh, he, uh, the police aided and abetted him in leaving UP. And no action was taken. Uh, uh, the, at least uh, the colleagues uh, of uh, Mr. Devendra Mishra, the policemen who were murdered by Vikas Dube, uh, they uh, also uh, did not speak up. I mean, very astonishing that this committee says that uh, nobody really came and told us anything and the UP government is giving clean shit. Uh, I have a colleague from uh, BJP here and she says action has been taken. Ma'am, this is what the character of... Uh, your government is. You also have a CBI report pending where the CBI has asked you to take action in the Unnav case where certain officers again connived with the criminal. You've not taken action on that too. Uh, this, the evidence is very much there. It has been discussed threadbare in the media and I would say uh, that it is... Uh, uh, like people like Tanvi who really, you know, brought all the facts to our notice and suddenly uh, you give a clean check. What sort of a message are you sending to the public that uh, you are uh, defending uh, the actions of Vikas Tube? You are uh, uh, allowing such people uh, to flower and flourish. Uh, and uh, it's not just the Thana which you have said in the SSP. Uh, you have your officers sitting right in Lucknow, sitting right in your secretariat who are informed by all this, uh, who are totally in sync with what was happening putting on ground. Mm. Uh, so when are you Absolutely. going to ask for their accountability? That's the distressing part and that is the scary part, Tanvi. Yes. That means that... Yes, that's exactly yeah. my point. You know, Vikas Dube is gone, but what about the accountability of the people that enable that One system, that enable gangsters like him, uh, and, and continue to do so? The gangsters may change, but if the system isn't crushed, Anila Singh, then nothing is going to happen. No, many, no matter how many criminals you kill, 103 criminals killed, shot dead, encounters done, it doesn't matter because if the system is not fixed, then there will be more mushrooming today who will find blessings from government officials, from policemen the same way. Mr. Chattadhan, I'll come to you in just a bit, but let Anila respond to this. Right, please. See, system under Yogi, Yogi Adityanath Ji is very well fit. And we are not going to entertain any, any criminal here. But it is amazing to see 
some of the political parties and some of the people how they are advocating for Vikas Dube as if they are Nobody so sad on for Vikas Dube. And let me say in very clear words on this channel and on this panel of yours, he is dead and he is dead for good. We do not have any sympathy for this heinous criminal. And he is shot dead. And he is shot dead. Whether you laugh, Mr. Pradhan, it hardly matters. Who is going to have last laugh? Who is going to have last laugh? Last laugh is going to You have sympathy. You have sympathy for criminals and rapists. Your party has sympathy for them. Not, we are not, I don't have any sympathy. For Vikas Dube and his associates. You are not going to have any sympathy for those eight police persons who were shot dead, who were killed brutally by this person on 3rd July 2020. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 but I think Anila Singh, this is a good tactic. This is a good tactic. I will grant you that, but this is not the point anybody is making. Nobody is Nobody shedding is. tears Nobody here for Vikas Dube. <laughs> Okay, calm down. Why are you getting so agitated? You don't have to be so dramatic about it, Anila Singh. We're having an extremely... Melodramatic. Calm down, please. Calm down. What are you saying? It's okay. 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 Okay. I'm asking you this. Why Pradesh? Uttar Pradesh? If someone dies, someone dies, someone dies. So, the police force and the government are sitting in your government, Anila Singh, who have come from so many years to save criminals, and are also saving them, they are also criminals. What will they do? What will they do? Do you not kill the crime of criminals until you don't break the system? Do you not kill the human rights of humanity? Do you not kill the human rights of humanity? Do you not kill the human rights of humanity? Anila Singh, is the line disconnected with her? Is she able to hear me tonight? We cannot. I don't know. Anila Singh, are you able to hear me? No, you hear me. If anybody... I can hear you. But I'm asking you a question. Are you able to hear me? Government in a bad case, definitely I'm going to attack on them. Okay. My question to you, Anila Singh, is very simple. I'll ask again this question. Fine. You think Vikas Dube is better off gone than being here. Nobody is debating that. Nobody sitting here is defending a gangster. Questions are being asked about how the system survives, thrives, and enables more criminals. The point that I made to you is shooting down 101, 2, 3, 500 criminals is not going to get rid of crime if you don't fix the system where government officials and policemen patronize such gangsters and such criminals. I am not saying this. It's the same commission report that has given you, your party, uh, your government, and your police department a clean chit in this encounter is saying this. What has been done about it? We come back to the same point. When, okay. When 100 criminals killed. How many policemen sacked? Give me, the, give me the corresponding response to that. Sorry? 100 criminals shot dead that your, your UP government is so proud about. Tell me how many corresponding cops who helped them survive so far, corrupt government officials, corrupt policemen have been sacked from their job. Let me tell you, Tanvi here, more than 40 cops have been killed in encounters. More than uh, around 1,040, 1,040 cops have been injured in encounter. So please do not put our police administration in cage. You are, uh, you are, you are, I mean, asking in such a way that whole of the police administration is corrupt here. There is absolutely no doubts about it. When we took power in 2017, UP was infested with crime, criminals, corruption, corrupt people. We are cleansing it. Okay. And if you talk about our system, even if we talk about the best of the developed countries in our in our world, yeah. we will find such people in a system who are corrupt. And, 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 and under Yogi government, whenever such people come across, they are punished. Okay, so, okay. Shara Pradhan, Shara Pradhan wanted to make a point earlier. Okay, government. point taken. That is wrong. Point taken. Shara Pradhan, yes. Oh, I was trying to point out one important uh, issue. You know, when this encounter, when this thing happened, they, the BJP guys are very quick at saying that uh, <clears throat> the, the journalists were there. Why didn't they raise? Journalists were systematically stopped. Their vehicles were physically prevented from following this motorcade after which this encounter took place. If they were very 
if they were really honest about it, what was the reason to stop journalists in Here a democratic country? Here comes one more advocate. Here comes one more advocate. Asking you, I didn't, now, now, Anila Singh, if you shout, then I'll also scream at you. So please, please let somebody no, else also speak. To do that. What do you do? You keep on screaming on Bharti. No, no, I, only, I only laugh at, because what you no, say is laughable. You, do your you don't know. You think, do she job. thinks that, uh, oh, it is a, there is a Ram Raj in the state. And there is no crime. Mr. Sengar's crime was no crime because he was a BJP me member of parliament. In the M M MLA who committed that rape on this minor girl. This uh, Hathras thing happened because there was no BJP. They burned the bodies at night. I mean, don't let me count that. that the long list, there's a long list. And as a lady, you should feel, you should have some some sympathy, some empathy for the kind of I've crimes that have been committed on women under your bad. regime. Okay, okay. Uh, yes, I out of time, out that. of time. Th last 30 seconds to Juhi Singh. Yes. Uh, yeah, Tadvi, Mr. Devan Mishra, our policeman was killed. Subodh Singh was killed in Buland Sheher. Uh, no action was taken. In fact, uh, the killer of Subodh Singh got bail and he was also given a BJP ticket. Kuldeep Singh Sanger's family, they flirt with now and then giving tickets and then withdrawing when the media uh, puts the information there uh, in the public domain. So I, I appreciate Anila Ji's uh, uh, a ballistic emotional response, uh, but uh, ma'am, you need to apologize to the people of UP and you definitely definitely need to apologize for not uh, taking action against people who allowed Vikas Dube to flourish. Nobody is here rooting for Mr. Vikas Dube and the crimes he committed, but you are defending those people who helped him uh, to uh, uh, create, have this uh, regional criminal atmosphere, the nexus of entire Thana, where policemen were uh, informing policemen against each other. You allowed him to escape UP, so you are responsible, ma'am. And please... Uh, at least take that seriously, okay. all I can say. Well, well the, the fact of the matter is, and because you brought up the instance that happened just before Vikar Zubay ran away from Uttar Pradesh, yeah. that the information of that police team arriving there was leaked to the gangster. Yes. yes. And, and there has to be accountability for that. That's the cleanup of the system that the UP government must also look at. If you're going to use this commission's report to say, see, we did nothing wrong, it was a legitimate encounter, Vikar Zubay tried to run away, the car toppled, he tried to run away, he fired at the policeman and so we had to shoot him and that's what really happened. There is no other side because we couldn't find another side. Nobody came forward uh, with any contrary evidence or testimony. All right. But the same report also talks about officials, policemen colluding with this gangster, patronizing him and that part also then needs to be taken seriously. And that part needs to be fixed as well. Replacing one criminal with another, one gangster with another, just like it happens in films, is not going to get rid of crime. Until and unless you don't dismantle the system that protects them, colludes with them, gets corrupted because of them, and together this nexus thrives at the cost of the common citizen. That's when real change will take place. Thank you for joining us.